we are here at the starting of the Harlequin Path, a series of videos where I will explain uh, how I organize and how I do all the hobby work on a Harlequin army. I start from zero, I don't have anything paint on a Harlequin, I bought all the miniatures I want to paint, I have them all, so in this series of videos I will show how I organize, how I'll paint them, and how I will play them and how they combine with my Dark Elder army. So it's starting from zero to, as you can see here, and this is my spreadsheet of the army, I'm going to reach the objective to have uh, 1500 points, but once I start playing with all the miniatures and what I have, I realize that I can arrive to 1600 points. So let's see what we have in the list and um, how I work that. So the first thing that I want to do is I like, uh, I have an idea in mind of what I want to do. So I buy the, I buy the miniatures to know, uh, to, to do the army that I have in mind. So my first sketch was, okay, I want to go for the Sehora's Revenge, I think it's called, the formation where you need, is, is the, the detachment of formation, I'm now looking to be clear sure that I give you the right name, Sehora's Re Re Revenge. So you need th three troops, three jesters, three shadow seers, one solitaire, one, uh, two units of escape weavers and one unit of void weavers. So what we have here in the list? So we have the solitaire and I will give him the Thegoras Rose. So this, oh, and then all the equipment can be moved to reach 1500. But th here what I write down is what is my wishes and how I want to organize them. And then you can fine tune once you start playing. I will have one shadow here. I will put him level to Nether Disruptor, high wear grenades. You will see that all my characters will have high wear grenades. Uh, we need some anti tank. We don't have a big shooting anti tank shooting, so I want to have high wear grenades on uh, all my characters. Maybe this is too much, and I will re uh, reduce later on. But this is the starting point. I will put him an Nether Disruptor. This is the pistol that is have flesh vein. High wear grenades and the mask of the secrets. Another shadow seer, level two. High wear grenades, the crescendo pistol. Another shadow seer, level two. Neuro disruptor. This is I will take off because I don't think I will put at the end a neuro disruptor to another shadow seer. Uh, high wear grenades, loud things uh, got ace. Uh, I will have one death jester with high wear grenades, another death jester with high wear grenades, and another death jester with high wear grenades. I'm not sure that the jester needs the high wear grenades, just in case I put this to know the points. A unit of 7 troops. I, ha I put 2 extra players. So here I want to explain. I had 12 metal uh, harlequins and I had uh, two, uh, a box of players, a troop, that is also 12. Then I had a. Uh, I have a exarch from the. Elder that I will transform into a true master, and I have I will use the two uh, um, crew that is not used that are from the Star Weaver as to complete to do two more. So in that way I have I will have three units of seven, three units of seven. You see two extra players, and this unit will have three cares, not neuro disruptors. Here I will put zero and zero to be clear and the stur trooper with the storied sword and high wear grenades another unit of seven troopers uh, i will not use the brass at the end three kisses one nether disruptor and i will use the star miss rhyme rhyme net caress one caress and the high wear grenades and these are going to be the plastic ones i will uh, add at the end two extra players uh, it will have a uh, two kisses, two caress, and the two master with keys and fusion pistol, and we'll have another fusion pistol here. This um, uh, so I will have at the end two fusion pistols on this unit and an elder disruptor. So this is the troops, three units of seven, one unit of escape weavers, another unit of escape weavers, no extras, and a unit of void weaver. So this will do the army. 
and this is what I'm going to build. The other thing that I did, and I think this can be interesting, is I organized to know what is the time I will need when I can have this army painted. And if you see here, I will finalize by middle of July. What I did is, I take into account, I, I went more by dates than by days here, because I want, I know that in weekends I have more time, and there are weeks that I will have more time, so I take this into account to know more or less where I will finalize. Also, if I was expecting to travel, this way you will see that when the gesture will need a lot of time because I will be traveling. So I put some extra time just because of that. So this is my my expectation. So now I'm in the in the moment that I'm assembly assembly the players. I assemble them to during the day today, and I will paint them. So and I will do another video showing how the units will look like later on. So this is a little bit how I want to show you. I want to show you how I'm organizing. This is a good way for me to track if I'm I, when I will be finished. It's a good way to see if you are going in track. I love then to start putting if it's complete or complete, and I see how the project is progressing. You can do this also with Excel file if you want. As as I have this program, I, I, I this software I wanted to use this one, but you can use Excel to do the same. So, but I think it's good to planify and to see uh, what is the time that you will need to do all this work uh, in order to match your expectations. Here, there is one thing that is not is missing here. I'm still painting some Bretonians that I want to finish. So most likely this date needs to be postponed a little bit. So let me see if this is working. If not, I will need to review everything here. But most likely I will start around the maybe on Tuesday or maybe I will work in parallel I will see I will not change right now I am doing this I'm working in parallel both projects and then once the Bretonian are finished it most likely I will I will be able to focus 100% on the Harlequins very excited about this project uh, I want I, I never did something like that I never planified that well but I think it's good I want to do this experiment and I want to show this with you, with the community, to see how this army is progressing. I will do continuous videos to show how the army is growing, how the army is looking like, and see at the end how the army will look like and play some games with that game. Maybe I will play during my assembly. This is why I do this assembly in that way. Once I have the, at this point, so the fifth of uh, at the first of of May, I will be able to play some of these units. This I can uh, deploy with my um, Dark Eldar, and I can puff, I can test this formation. I can also test the formation of the player. This one player, a Shadow Seed and the Chester. So uh, this is why I do uh, all these characters at the beginning because then I can deploy the player and the and formation plus the three character formation. Or I can play, uh, and then later on I will do another players, and then this is all this process is done in in intentionally to be able to start using them as soon as possible combined with my Dark Elder army. So I hope you find this project interesting. Uh, I, I hope, please let me know what do you think, uh, what do you want to see. I will try to do tutorials on the Solitaire, on the Shadow Seer, uh, on the Death Jester, how to paint the, 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 the diamond pattern. All this I will try to do as many tutorials as I can and I will explain also and I will share with you what are my findings, what is my uh, anemic state, or how I feel, maybe I feel demotivated. You start a project very motivated, I expect in the middle is the moment that is more difficult in a project. So let's see how all this goes together uh, uh, and I will share all this with the community. So yeah. That's all at this moment. Please like if you like it. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you want to see more of the Harlequin Path. I will call all these series the Harlequin Path. I hope you, you enjoy. Uh, and that's all. So thanks, thanks a lot for watching. And see you again later. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.